Fox tech executives have a new worry keeping them up at night, and that is state-sponsored cyber warfare. And Amy Javers joins us right now with the latest from a CNBC Technology Executive Council survey with some fascinating insights. Eamon. Yeah, that's right, Andrew. We're seeing a shift in the way that technology executives perceive the threats in cyberspace, and it mirrors what we've seen going on in the news more generally. Now, according to the first quarter CNBC Technology Executive Council survey, concerns about state-sponsored cyber threats remain high. 48 percent of those surveyed said that's the most dangerous threat to their organization. That number was at 50 percent in the fourth quarter and just 20 percent in the third quarter of last year. So you can see how it spiked and has remained elevated since that solar winds hack during the winter time last year. Now, 10 percent said individual hackers were the most dangerous cyber threat, and 35 percent said employee mistakes were the most dangerous. Uh, and these concerns are going all the way to the top. 74 percent said their board has had a formal discussion about the solar winds hack, and an additional 10 percent said they haven't done that yet, but it is on the agenda for their next meeting. And we asked them how they think the government is doing in responding to the solar winds hack. Average got the largest response at 45 percent. 23 percent said poor and zero, zero percent here said excellent. That's not a number you see off, often in polling. So this is a group that's not been inspired by what it's seen from Uncle Sam so far, guys. And this is just a snapshot of what the industry is thinking. There are 31 members here responding of the Tech Executive Council. They're all high-ranking tech officers in their companies, though. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.